Il aurait à peu près d'Outremont. Monsieur le Président, les Mr. Speaker, Canadians believed that the Liberals were going to change marijuana legislation right after they formed government. And do you know why they believed that? Because the election platform stated it categorically, and the Prime Minister himself repeated it some 100 times. But since the campaign, the Liberals have encouraged police to continue arresting Canadians for simple possession of marijuana. Why would the government rather stick tens of millions of Canadians with criminal records instead of decriminalizing marijuana now? Minister of Justice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we've said all along, and we've been consistent, we are committed to legalization, uh, restricting access, and strictly regulating marijuana to achieve the ultimate objective of keeping it out of the hands of kids and the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. As my friend across the way has indicated in the past, it would be a mistake just to decriminalize because just simply decriminalize would not achieve those objectives. That's right. Ever for Actually, decriminalizing would make sure that young people don't drag criminal records with them for the rest of their lives yeah. when we're about to legalize. Now, the government has just created massive confusion in the justice system. Judges are calling the situation absurd. While the government is talking legalization, the courts are being forced to convict. Mm -hmm. Even the Conservative Party now calls for marijuana possession to be removed from the criminal, criminal code. The Conservative Party. <laughs> Why will this Liberal government continue to hand out criminal records to tens of thousands of mostly young Canadians instead of decriminalizing marijuana now? The Honourable Minister of Justice. We're committed to legalization, strict regulation of marijuana. Simply decriminalizing will not achieve the objectives of keeping it out of the hands of children and the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. We have committed to introduce legislation in the spring of 2017. In that intervening period, we will engage with experts in the health area, public safety, justice, and law enforcement to ensure that we proceed in an orderly manner that will achieve the objectives that we are committed to achieving. In intervening time, thousands of mostly young Canadians will have criminal records and drag them with them the rest of their lives. That's the problem. Canada's big banks are once